Oh boy, the next negative review disaster. So, yes, this is actually um, not really a big surprise to anybody, but uh, what do you guys think the rating for Diablo 4 is going to be whenever... Uh, what do you call it? Whenever it goes out on Steam. Is it going to even be 4? Or is it going to go back down to Diablo 0.4? There is a part of me that hopes that the reviews are so bad that it goes to 0.4. So we can call it Diablo 0.4. I mean, that would be really funny, right? Now, is that going to happen? Probably not. But, uh, you know, it'd still be funny. I do have to say, though, I'm going to I'm gonna keep it real. Yesterday's stream with the Diablo developers was really good. It was, like, disarmingly good. Like, I was expecting it to be a complete fucking joke. And it seems like things are, are getting better, right? Positive changes, absolutely. So, yeah, they're actually trying. Well, they're, I, I mean, they're, they're doing better, right? They're doing better. And that's great to see. Yeah, they finally did play the game, and so that was a really good thing. And, uh, obviously, like, a lot of what they did isn't, like, this crazy, amazing, groundbreaking stuff that changes the world. But I'm just glad that they've improved the quality of the game, and they're making it better. That's literally it. Then the patch comes out, you start saying it's shit, which, is, which it is to begin with. Man, you say that every time. Then the patch comes, you start saying, uh, is shit. Okay. Okay, let's address this. All right. Did I say season one was going to be good? Because I, I remember saying very clearly that I thought season one was going to suck. And I said I only planned to play it for a couple of days. And I played it longer than I expected. So what about that? Yeah, I said I would try it out. I said I would try it out. And if season two, if season two made me refarm Renown, I would not play season two. He's not wrong about last patch. We all thought the dev stream was amazing, but it was a drop in the water. Well, I didn't think the dev stream was... I was happy with the dev stream. But, like, am I, uh... Oh, this is... Okay, now... Now... Okay, I, I think... I think I understand now. Well, you were hyped for the game, and it was like this with New World? Bro. I got to level 100. I... I, I like, got this gear. I put, like, 200 hours in the game. I said I got my money's worth for Diablo 4. Like, I, I literally said that, like, what do you mean? Yeah, I have 1.5k hours in New World. Has it ever occurred to you? I'm not saying that you say the truth, but it's going to be, this is just stupid, you're dumb as fuck. Uh, like, it's a, a science, sci a science denier weird guy like I, I like usually if he just had said that i would have been like yeah whatever right but like if he's also all the scientists are all paid like i get the fuck out of here like at a certain point like it's just too many delusions right too many fucking delusions did you watch the d4 live stream yesterday can i watch it on the vod yeah i think uh my editor's already uploaded it onto youtube I'm impressed you uh, reached level 100. Yes, I did. And if you were, uh, what's this here? If you're only uh, 40 when you quit New World, you start over and remember just how to play. I mean, it's a pretty easy game to know how to play. Well, anyway, um, what I'm saying is that uh, I do think Diablo 4, the live stream yesterday, uh, was, was an improvement. It was a very great improvement, and uh, I'm happy to see it. Obviously, was there anything that was announced yesterday that was innovative, that moved the ARPG genre forward. Nope. 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 Absolutely not. However, <clears throat> uh, I don't necessarily need innovation. All I need is a good, fun game to play, and then that's it. So you're going to play, play, or am I going to play season two? So ultimately, this is how I thought about the season. My plan was to probably play season two for the first day just for content to like look at the new quest lines and stuff like that and then basically quit the game. At this point, I will plan to actually play season two for Diablo 4. I will actually play the game because yeah, sure, why not? Why wouldn't I? Why would I play Diablo 4 season instead of PoE season or last uh, epoch? Well, it's because they come out at different times, so you don't really have to make that decision. So, Baldur's Gate 3 did not do any innovation. Well, I don't know if it did or not. I, I didn't play it. 
But like all I'm really saying is like uh, uh, that uh, Backlog is big and Diablo is just more of the same. Well, it's because like I'm I I make a lot of content for the game, right? And that that's why. Like, that's it. I mean, I, I'll always, like, every single day, people ask me to commit to playing three new games. Like, I, the, how, I, like, I'm just never, I'm never going to be able to play every game. Like, that's all there is to it. It's just not going to happen. So, whenever, whatever I play, I play. Whatever I don't play, I don't play. It's that simple. So, yeah. You know, if you do a horror game for Halloween, yeah, we'll see what happens, okay? Yeah, I promise to play Genshin. I promise to play a lot of things. Go stop reacting and start gaming. Well, why would I do that when a lot of people like the reacting? Like, it doesn't make any sense. So why, why would I... Like, why would I not do commentary and stuff if a lot of people like watching it? It doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's just... It's like, isn't that like kind of its own game? So yeah, I mean, there are people that, uh, that have like that outlook, but like, that's just... In my head, it's silly, right? Why would I... Why would I not do something that people that people obviously like? So you can't play every game, but react. Pick one. Uh, you say you can't play every game, but react. Well, yeah, because that's it, it's more important for me to make YouTube videos and talk about current events than play every single video game that people want me to play. Like it's just that's the way that I make my priorities, and it's that's just how it's gonna be. Uh, like it, this isn't like also it's not like it's the debate or anything like that. I'm just telling you this is how it is, and so yeah. Uh, don't complain about playing every game, easy peasy. Well, no, I mean, like, obviously, even if I was able to play every game and, uh, and do all of that, or I was able to do, like, I never reacted, I never looked at anything. Like, so what you're saying is that you think that I should not do anything except for the thing that you want me or somebody else wants me to do. Only do the one thing that you want me to do. Don't do anything else. Well, that doesn't sound like a good idea to me. I don't want to do that. Listen. Here's the truth. I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want. It doesn't matter if people cry. It doesn't matter if they bitch. It doesn't matter if the view count goes down. I don't care. So, yeah. And obviously, whenever I say I don't care, I do care. But I don't care enough to change my behavior. Does that make sense? Yes. It would be great if everybody liked everything I did. But that's not the world. That's not a real world to live in, is it? No, it's not. The truth is that there are going to be people that disagree with what I think. People that disagree with what I do. But that's not going to stop me from thinking it. It's not going to stop me from doing it. So yeah, that's all it is. How about doing the worst stream ever just to see how far you have to go to make people stop watching? No, I don't know about that. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I did that a lot. Let's take on offline mode. You made this very bad take. You said everyone has internet. Not true in the slightest. You said everybody has internet? Uh, yeah, but like everybody in like the modern world basically has internet. Yeah, I'm sure there's third world countries where people don't have internet. But why should a first world country that makes a video game for $70... Uh, why should they be making a game... And, uh, there's, there's no, there's no obligation to make a game that fits into, like, a third world country's, like, uh, lifestyle. I think this idea that always online is actually a problem, I think it's completely fucking delusional. I don't think it matters. I think it's just something that, uh, that old head gamers like to cry about, because it's something that reminds them that it's not 1996 anymore. Everybody's sitting here on fiber optic high speed internet typing their fucking message to disagree with me about how you don't have internet. Bro, you live on the fucking internet. What are you talking about? It's never going to affect you. Shut the fuck up. It's just about, it's the stupidest fucking fake outrage I can ever hear. And you know what? I said this 10 years ago with Diablo 3. It was true 10 years ago. Jesus. So fucking annoying. It matters for my single player games. Why does it have to be offline? I I don't see the reason, and um, I also think that there are many single player games that there's no reason for them to be online only. You're right, and I don't like how the developer can like take the license away from a person playing a single player game. But Diablo 4 is not a single player game. It's just not. It should be. 
Well, it's not. No, Diablo 4 is just simply not a... It, it's not a single-player game. This is like an objective fact. It's not. It, like, like Elden Ring is a single-player game. Like, it's it's like an MMO light ARPG. Not, like, you... you like, that's it, that's all there is to it. Isn't a game worthy of playing? Who cares? Pile of shit is worth $15? Then don't play it. But yes, people are going to cry about it. Single-player games can be pirated, that's why. It is a lot easier to pirate a multiplayer game, and this is the reason why a lot of games have online only. Is because... People can pirate and, like, get a key and, like, get a key. Like, how many of you guys have ever used, like, a key gen? You know, like, you open it up and it plays, like, the music and everything? Like, th this is, like, very common, like, 10 years ago. And so, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We we've, we've seen this. Um, you, so you can get key gens, right? But doing it with an online game is harder to do. So, big surprise, uh, games, you know, developers want to have their games be online. Either way, I just think that the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the online-only thing's stupid, and I think the people that are making it out to be a problem are, uh, stupid. Should we start entering passport details whenever we start a game? That would help reduce piracy, too. Um... Uh, well, there's actually a lot of, uh, there's countries that do that, too. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, so if a video game, here's the truth, right? If a video game said that it required you, this is an interesting question, right? If a video game required you to put in a driver's license number, theoretically, right? I'm just coming up with like a hypothetical or like a state ID number. Would I say that that game shouldn't exist? No, because that is for the market to decide. The market will decide that. And if people don't like that, then they can choose not to buy it. And... The truth is, it's the same thing with Diablo 4. If people don't like online only, don't buy the game. Would never give a game studio a game studio that personal data gets breached all the fucking time? Ah, uh, you probably already have. Yeah, it's like any time that you, uh, any time that you buy a game, they have your data. Every, any time that, like, you log into a game, they have your IP address. Like, come on, like, what are we talking about here? Pretty sure that's illegal in EU. Oh yeah, maybe in some countries they might not have the uh, the ability to do that. I'm only talking about the U.S. By the way, I don't care about what happens in other countries, right? That's not my thing. Would you buy it if it were only online only? Well, I mean, yeah, it's the thing. Is like I would I would just buy the game, right? Because I would want to play the game. It's just not a big deal. Also, there are complex webs with data links, so they can already link your personal info to your gaming identity. Yeah, I think so. It's cool. You don't care about other countries. Seventy percent of your viewers are from EU. Well, why would I? I don't live there. So, like, I'm not going to pass judgment and talk about, like, what I think their country should or shouldn't do or whatever, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't I don't live there. So, like, why would I be talking about their country? It's not my problem. Like, it, again, like I've said this many times, yeah, it's just, it's not... Like, I don't know what, I don't know what Germany should do about anything. Like, you know, like, I, I'm like, oh, well, I don't, I don't agree with this, right? Or whatever, like, sure. But, like, I'm not gonna tell them what to do. Like, I'm not the world police. What the fuck? The chat's always filled with so many idiots. Um, there are a lot of people that, again, so this is really the reason, is that I have a lot of, uh, I make a lot of videos that are critical of, like, gaming stuff. And because of that, I attract a lot of people that are just mad about gaming in general. I think there are a lot of people out there who have kind of outgrown gaming and gotten angry about how gaming has evolved over the years. And they just go online to express that. And I think that's been the case with a lot of them. And so anytime they see, and like, so here's like a list. Okay, let's make a list, actually. Um, things that make old head gamer boomers mad in 2023. Okay? Battle pass. Always online. Um, pronouns in game. Uh, let's see here. Uh, cosmetics, microtransactions. Uh, pay to win. Uh, pay for convenience. Okay. Um, so let's see here. Um, de novo. Uh, I think that's how to spell it. 
Uh, I'm not sure. Woke agendas. Yes. Woke agendas slash, um, yeah, just do woke agendas. I think that's like pretty all encompassing. Uh, $70 games. Um, PC culture and story. It's woke agendas. Uh, it's all, all woke agendas. I don't think that DLC is disliked day one DLC, which I agree with this. Um, mobile, uh, functionality. So like the ability to play a game on a phone, uh, they don't like that. Um, early access. Um, pre-order bonuses. And pre-orders in general. Streamer privileges. Yes. Streamers and anything to do with them. Okay. Um, pay to play early. That's early access. Head start, early access, head start. Digital only. Digital only games. Local censorship. I think that kind of goes both ways. Exclusives. Um, game store. Okay. So I think this is pretty much about right. Is that all of these things, nothing, nothing here happened in 1997. No games were online. Nobody knew what a battle pass was. The pronouns, what the fuck? Microtransactions, do you mean buying the game? Pay to win, we're playing a video game. Pay to save time. If you want to save time, quit the game. De novo, what the fuck is that? Just download it from a floppy disk from your friend. Woke agendas, well yeah, I woke up this morning, what does that even mean? $70 games. What are you fucking insane? Like this is five dollars. You're lucky I'm giving you that. Day one DLC. They can't even run a patch anyway. You have to go to the store and make sure that you look on the back of the box and see that you're buying the 1.1 version box rather than the 1.0. Uh, remember buying? Remember, remember looking at the back of the boxes? Remember that? Um, mobile functionality. Uh, what are nobody knows what a cell phone is, bro? Like you mean that, that shit from like a. Uh, you know, the, the Wolf of Wall Street, not Wolf of Wall Street, what's the other one? Uh, fucking, bro, the one with Michael Douglas, Gordon Gecko. How the fuck am I not thinking it? Well, that move, that, yeah, the brick phone, exactly, yeah, the brick phone. Wall Street, was it just, it was Wall Street? Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, never mind. Um, early access head start. Well, yeah, you get early access if you buy the game, if you go to GameStop that, that day earlier, uh, uh, you know, Circuit City. Uh, you go to Circuit City early in the day, and you get early access to the game because you can buy it earlier. Um, you go to midnight release. Uh, pre-order bonuses in general. Uh, the pre-order bonus is that you actually are able to go to GameStop or Circuit City and they have your copy of the game rather than somebody else buying it before you. Uh, streamers, bro, a streamer? What do you mean, people playing video games? Well, how can you, like, why would anybody watch somebody else play video games? It's like the dumbest thing I've ever heard. No, of course there's no streamers. Uh, digital only games. Bro, we don't even have the internet. What do you mean? Exclusives to console and Epic Game Store. I, well, I mean, to be fair, actually, we did have exclusives back then. Yeah, this is actually the one that we did have. Because there were a lot of games that were only on Super Nintendo. Yeah. And, like, bro, if you want to use... Like, let's say you try to use something on a Mac that was on a PC. Well, you have to consult the ancient texts. You have to call up Steve Wozniak and then have a three-way call with him and Bill Gates and you to have the three of you guys sit down on how to edu edit the registry file <laughs> on how to make it actually work 
<laughs> on your Mac. It was so bad, dude. It was so bad. And there's like eight different file types for a Word file. Oh my god. Yeah, there's no save option, guys. Yeah, the Oracle. <laughs> the boot disk. Bro, I haven't heard the word boot disk in 15 years. Oh my god. The last time I heard boot disk was in high school. Oh god. The boot disk. Jesus Christ, the fucking boot disk. The little, yeah, the floppy. Oh my god. It was so bad, wasn't it? You're showing your age. Yeah, I know. I know, man. Holy fuck. Turbo button. Yeah, the turbo button. Exactly. Well, now the turbo button is hacking. That's the thing is like everybody says, oh, turbo buttons are bad, right? But dude, you had controllers back then that had turbo buttons. Like this was normal. It's cheating now. Yes, it used to be normal. What about deluxe edition? What was the first game that had a deluxe edition? Morrowind? WoW? Yeah, WoW was 2004. They literally sold legal cheats in the 90s. Remember Game Genie? What do you mean, remember Game Genie? I can go downstairs and get Game Genie. And it was Game Shark, not Game Genie. Like, yeah, I remember that very well, dude. So, yeah, these are the things that make old head gamer boomers mad 2023. So, if you have any of these things, it's going to make people mad. 1990 Deluxe of uh, Carmen Sandiego released? Really? I didn't see that at all. The original 100 gigabyte games. Bro, the original gigabyte game. Like, it's actually insane to me that, like, games... Like, remember Jedi Survivor? How big was that fucking game? It was, like, 80 gigs. An 80 gigabyte game? Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, it was insane. I remember my dad, this was in like 2002 or something like that. He actually got a hard, he got an external hard drive and it was a 250 gigabyte external hard drives, which like back then was like getting a petabyte hard drive at this point. By the way, petabyte, people don't even know, right? It's a thousand terabytes. That's how big it was. It's fucking massive. It was like four uh, diskettes. Yes. And a petabyte. Yeah. And uh, what's this here? I remember my PC only had 15 gigabytes. Yeah, it was nuts, man. Humongous.